Hey, what's up everybody? I am Legend, your favorite traveling musician here on YouTube. And today I want to show you guys how you can start producing beats from scratch. Even if you don't necessarily know how to play keys or an instrument or anything like that, I'm going to show you guys how to use free sounds, free websites so that you guys can make your own tracks that sound super dope. This is how you do it. Let's go. Okay, so basically uh, what you want to do is you want to go to a website like sounds.com or splice.com or any website that has like free loops, free drum kits, patterns and all that stuff. And obviously you need your music production software. Today I'm going to be using Machine because that's what I use. Um, but you just find a website like this and you find a, for instance, this is a free sample that I found on here. <laughs> So I thought that sounded pretty dope. So basically I downloaded the free version. I came over to machine and I plugged it in right here. So you guys will hear. As a sound. So then I came over here and I just needed to add some drums. So what I did was I came and I added this uh, bipolar kit right here. And I'm just going to demonstrate what I did before. So. Something like that. Um, and I came up with this sound, this drum uh, loop that came up. Which sounds pretty dope to me. And then I wanted to add some hi-hats. So what I did was I came over here I found a, uh, what is this? I think, no, this is not a kit. This, these are sounds that I found separately on my own within machine. Um, so I found an open hi hat. I mean, a open hi hat, a closed one, a clap and a snare. So put them together and it sounds like that. Um, and so I just came over here. We already have the sample. hi-hat yeah uh. and then add the drums that I added earlier now remember this is all from just a loop that I found on sounds So it sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty dope, right? Um, then basically what I did was I came and I found my two favorite basses. So I put both of my favorite basses on this track. Fall on Sign 1 and Feedback Bass. They are both in Massive. That's why Massive is like one of my favorite VSTs. I came over here and I wanted to do like a, a bass line. And so... Six, seven, eight, go. If you play that by itself, it comes out something like this. Woo! Sounds real dope, right? And then, uh, I mean, since I'm a musician, I'm a pianist, and I, I know musicianship, like I can play more stuff on top of this, but if you don't um, have the knowledge of like chords and chord progressions and, and how to even play keys or anything like that, you can either find like some more loops that goes with this loop, like it's in the same key and all that stuff, same tempo and everything. Or, um, I mean, you can just use this loop as it is because this sounds really dope, you know, and then maybe ask a friend or ask somebody that you know who, who knows how to play keys to add something on top of it. But since I'm a musician, I went ahead and added all this stuff on my own. So there's the bass, there's the, the loop and the drums. And then I wanted to put uh, a little bit, something extra on there. I was going to do a synth, um, but it wasn't working out. So I went with an organ. 
a C3 blues organ in contact. top of that chords to go along with that so and then together by itself this sounds like this with everything else really 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 sick really sick <laughs> um and then i uh wanted to put like a piano part in there so this is just some more you know adding fuel to the fire all together so this is all just coming from a loop so like anybody who's dedicated enough can come in here download a free loop a free sample, whatever it is, and make their own tracks. You don't have to have like extensive knowledge in music. You just need to know what sounds good. You you need to know what sounds compatible. You need to know the right keys and all that stuff, the right chord progressions that go with the other chord progressions and, and, and all that, all those things. If you have those basics down, you can come in here and create whatever you want to create as long as you're dedicated. So, I mean... <sighs> I, I I really want to add something else on top of this. So I'm going to try and add, maybe we could find like an actual strummed acoustic. <laughs> I'm going to see if there's like a slower version because I have this double time. So maybe that's what's affecting my stuff. Too fast, man. I, I think I kind of like that.
sounds so sick. Okay, oh, I'm, uh, I gotta, I gotta take some time and, and handle this. But I just wanted to show you guys, man. You can make anything with the tools that you have. Like you don't need all this fancy schmancy equipment. You don't need all this fancy schmancy like, uh, you know, plugins and all that stuff. I mean, it it helps, but using websites like Sounds, Splice, and all that stuff. You can make some pretty dope stuff. So uh, this is how you can start producing as a beginner from scratch. You know, just using websites like Sounds, Splice, anywhere you can get kits and loops. If you got friends that got some loops, if you go on YouTube, you can search the library for like royalty free loops or even like some royalty free music and just sample it yourself. And I mean, that is start to finish how you can make a really dope track. So thank you guys for watching. If this helped you out. Uh, please leave a like, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and um, I will see you in the next video. Thanks. All right, bye. Oh, be legendary. <laughs> All right, bye. Like I'm on the phone. Be legendary, guys.